There's nothing like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grateful Dead.
It's just the last thing that I'm thinking 
Listening to the Grateful Dead live from the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey, over WNEW FM, New York. Less than a heartbeat. Some young stranger hit him on the floor. 
fit by his hair The man stepped the light to
You're listening to The Grateful Dead live from the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey at 102.7 WNEW-FM in New York. Drinking that glass 
I can tell the queen of diamonds by the way she
So far, we, we've had one, one set, and uh, it's and the only possible we may get as many as three, but uh, at this point, we really don't know, and tour, as we said, it could go until almost any time, they, they might stop at 11.30, who knows? I have a feeling they're not going to stop at 11.30. And as we mentioned earlier, we'll be here for the entirety of the set, or sets, we'll be grateful to Richard Neer at WNEW FM in New York, along with Pat Dawson. We're at the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey, for The Grateful Dead on this Wednesday night. We'll go back now to the studios for about a uh, half hour to 45 minutes, and then we'll return here to the Capitol Theater. Dennis? We're still waiting for the uh, dead, dead to come on stage. We, we hear a bass being tuned, tuned, but we don't see any bodies. bodies. Actually, they are on stage. They're in the back of the stage. Not all of them are on stage. Kind of interesting to do a show like this because they kind of gradually filter down. They're not all in one dressing room. Donna Godshow was in the hallway before. She's just sitting there talking. You know, Garcia I saw in the back of the stage and uh, floating on her. Yeah, he was kind of uh, there. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of a casual atmosphere. Well, you'd never be able to, um, you'd never be able to say that a Grateful Dead concert is a study in organization. No, I don't think Rune Arledge would uh, produce something like this. I, I don't think that we could get it down to the second. But, uh, John Sher choreographs most things very well. He doesn't choreograph Grateful Dead concerts very well. That's all. But uh, nonetheless, as I said, we are standing by and waiting for the dead to come back on, and uh, we will continue to do just that so that, uh, that, that you will not be left, left all by yourselves. yourselves.
Uh, the first part of the, uh, of the set was uh, about an, an hour and 40 minutes. minutes. It wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, just, just about, about an hour and 40 minutes, minutes and uh, the, the intermission, intermission so far has been about 40 minutes, minutes which is uh, about as scheduled, however, it's <laughs> not over yet. <laughs> well, the, um, did you, when you were uh, wandering around backstage, did you notice um, that there was any um, indication of how many sets there'll be tonight? Not really, not really. Nobody was willing to make a commitment. I see we want to have one of the world's biggest Grateful Dead fans over here, Scott Muni who's just been uh, standing by, itching to get at the microphone. Uh, not really, but as all of you go back, as we do, if, if you're a deadhead, in any degree or form whatsoever, you know that at intermission, it, there is, as we kind of predicted earlier, that it might be 45 minutes or so before they went back on. It's more than that. And uh, when they go back, we don't know how long they'll be on, but you out there as our audience will know and uh, that's what really counts. The audience is ready, as you can tell here. Uh, the applause that you hear and all that means one other member of the group came on stage. Yes, only one. Four or five more have to come out. That is a good way to get ovations, you know. Take individual curtain calls, like in the theater. Come on one at a time. Most groups come on as a group, they come on one at a time. Is that why we all come out one at a time before the show? <laughs> As, as we all know, going back to the uh, first broadcast we did, which was at uh, the Felt Forum, the new writers, at that point, a new group, opened the show, and they went on for an hour or so, and then uh, we had uh, Garcia and some of the members of the group at an intermission, they hadn't even really warmed it up. And then when they come out to tune up, it's 10 minutes, and it's, to give you an indication of what that night was like, St. Louis Blues were next door playing the Rangers. I missed none of the set and none of the hockey game. Between, you know, while they were tuning up, I went to the hockey game, saw the entire game, came back, and they were still tuning. One of the things about hockey is strange is when they have a, a break during the periods, in three periods, it's 20 minutes. It's kind of long. It's a long, you know. But the Grateful Dead do three periods and one break, you know. <laughs> but at, when they do come back, and I think tonight since they're going to mess out here, um, I think probably uh, Mr. Garcia has expressed a thing about maybe stopping by sometime tomorrow. I don't know where it's going to be. Because before they do the remainder of the shows in the area, they have a day off against tomorrow. So since they do have a day off tomorrow, I have a feeling that the last part, or let's say after intermission, or what, what is it, hockey? Uh, yeah, between, uh, I, I think that this could be midnight, 12.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2.00, 30, whatever. Whenever they get through playing, that's when the show will end tonight. It's, that I know, we talked to them right now. It looks now like everybody is on stage. John Sherry is standing. John, is everybody on stage? Seems that way. I was just saying before that, that although you choreograph most things very well, it's impossible to choreograph a Grateful Dead concert, isn't it? It's choreographed properly. But uh, in any event, we, we stand by it, and I think we're just about there. They've actually turned around and now they're tuning and facing the audience, which we figure is progress of one sort or another. So uh, how did they start the uh, second half with last night? Uh, last night they started with the old Rascal song, Good Lovin', and it was a, it was a real, real up, so uh, we'll see. They change every night, so... Uh... Are we at halftime now? What's the score? <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, we are filling. This is what's known in the radio trade as fill, and there's going to be a great deal of it tonight, I have a feeling, especially if Richard's here alone. Still, uh, still very like Tom Herrera is here. I don't know, he doesn't look like he has anything to say, but he's standing silently by. I say, well, I thought it was really good one more time. Richard will throw something at me, so I won't say anything. That's, that's Tom's standard comment. I think it was pretty good. At the end of a very heavy concert, he'll give a, a complete exhaustive analysis of what's gone on that night. Say, Tom, what do you think? It's a pretty good show. I do want to say, you know, we're, we're having a little fun stretching, so to speak, but one thing, all of you listening, uh, the reason we're doing the concert tonight with the grateful help of John Shear and the Capitol Theater and the group behind, these concerts have been sold out for so long, uh, and to have the opportunity for all of you who did not get the shot at buying the tickets before they were sold out or would like to be here, 
uh, you're hearing the crowd, you'll hear the concert totally, and I think that's really great, and that's what we're trying to do at the station, and uh, I'm glad it happened that way, and I hope you enjoy the remaining part of the concert, because uh, uh, we tried real hard, and of course the dead were always cooperative with something like this, and they realized all the concerts were sold out, and so hey, those of you who couldn't be here because you couldn't get tickets because they were sold out, we're glad we're here tonight. Okay, okay, it looks, looks like, like we're just about ready to start. start. We'll, we'll take, take you now to the stage of the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey for the Grateful Dead. Dead.
listening to the Great Day live from the Capitol Theater, Passaic, New Jersey, over WNEW FM New York, right? The day we end this year, right?
Listening to the Grateful Dead live from the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey, over WNEW FM, Metro Media Stereo, New York.
rhythm that will not be seen till my tears is told.
of a brand new
You didn't hear no, babe. 
of the dead have left the stage. And the uh, traditional matches have been lit. It's pretty much up in the air as to whether they'll do an encore or not. The first night of uh, the Capitol Theater gig on Monday, they did do an encore. Last night, they did not do an encore. And this is kind of the rubber match. This is the one where uh, it decides the best two out of three. As we've been saying all night, whenever we've had the mic, it's it's very unpredictable with the Great Dead. You never know exactly what's going to happen. John Sher is here and indicates that there probably will be an encore. You might be able to hear some of the shouts who request that the encore. I mean, there's just so many different things that they could do. Uh, from uh, One More Saturday Night, Uncle John's band. Of course, they did Morning Dew at the end of the set, so that obviously won't be it. It's just about 10 minutes past midnight, which means with the break included, they started at around uh, 8.25, so they've been playing for about 3 hours and 45 minutes up to this point, maybe 45 minutes out for the intermission, so that makes 3 hours plus whatever encore or encores they do. Seem just about ready. We'll go down now to the stage and the Grateful Dead from the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. Thank you. 